Nutrition is an enormously broad field and there are a number of, a wide array of different careers available. It's a very young science and it's an applied science, which is wonderful because you can learn something in the class and literally go out into your community and see it happening, see the principles happening in your everyday life. Um, nutrition is very exciting right now in that it holds great promise for being one of the largest solutions for how we might control healthcare costs through prevention. There are three options within the nutrition major. There's dietetics, nutrition health sciences, and nutrition food service systems. Within dietetics, this is a nationally accredited curriculum that's designed to prepare a student for becoming a registered dietitian. It is, however, only the first step in the path. There is also a competitive process for applying for a dietetic internship, a supervised practice, and completion of a professional exam required to be that registered dietitian. With a degree in nutrition with the dietetics option and presumably pursuing the registered dietitian credential, students take positions in clinical settings, in hospitals, long-term care, providing medical nutrition therapy for patients. They also take roles as administrators of public health programs, delivering public health programming, nutrition messaging, as well as the school system is a large employer of registered dietitians. The health sciences is particularly rigorous in the sciences and is a nice platform from which to apply to medical school. In addition, um, this is also one of the options that, that folks choose to go into additional graduate study, whether that's additional nutrition graduate studies or, or a field that would be complementary. So it's literally preparing for the next level of education versus typically not necessarily entering the workforce at that point, but, but still a capable um, educator and nutrition professional. Food Service Systems equips a student to be able to uh, function in an administrative role, also in being able to um, manage uh, food service systems making large-scale food production. They also consult in the culinary industry as well as working in the food industry. Following graduation, I will be attending a medical internship in India for the summer and will apply to medical schools with the hope of one day becoming a pediatric physician so I can improve access to health care for kids in need. We have strong food courses, and that's important in support of our philosophy. This major includes very intensive sciences, basic sciences, anatomy, physiology, an entire year of chemistry, biochem, etc. But we feel it's really important not to separate those sciences from food. So if you don't know your way around food and its properties, how to manipulate it and translate it to something that people can use, how are we going to impact health? There are a number of ways that students can get involved in their major at OSU. One of the most obvious, I think, though, is the Nutrition and Dietetics Club. This is a student-directed club, and they are choosing from an enormous array of opportunities to practice their professional skills. What I saw here that I haven't seen at other universities is a group of students really putting out near professional services under their own direction, making decisions, fact-checking, making sure they're, they're doing correct education, and really impacting community health. At OSU, there are uh, undergraduate research opportunities that are particularly useful as well. I believe getting involved leads to so many opportunities, friendships, and professional connections, and it really adds to your college experience. During my second year at Oregon State, I volunteered with an after-school program called Cooking Fun and Play. The program met four days a week and provided youth in third through eighth grades with the opportunity to gain culinary skills as well as nutrition and physical education. Twice a week, the class would split into groups and make entire meals, and during the other two days we would focus on physical activities such as swim lessons or team sports. I really enjoyed volunteering with this program because it allowed me to apply classroom knowledge in a real life setting. With such large class sizes, it can be intimidating getting to know professors. My involvement in the Nutrition and Dietetics Club enabled me to work closely with professors and faculty outside of the classroom. Although outside involvement is important, it also takes time and energy for academic involvement. I noticed that I performed better in their classroom when I felt comfortable asking questions or seeking extra help when I needed it. One of the many amazing experiences I've had at OSU is the ability to connect with faculty outside of the classroom. While I was working for a summer day camp on campus called Kid Spirit, I served as a head instructor for many children of OSU faculty, which led to me getting to know professors and instructors of mine outside of the classroom. One connection in particular led to me working as a tutor for a prior instructor's child who has special needs. This job in turn led to an opportunity for me to work as a respite care provider for children with special needs in the Corvallis and Albany communities. 
I have had the pleasure of meeting many amazing families in this community and gained a second family in the process just by taking the time to connect with my professors and instructors outside of the classroom. I think if you love science, and you're pretty strong in that, are creative, and you see yourself in a disease prevention role, nutrition may be a lovely fit for you. I personally have had um, a very fulfilling career in a number of different roles. It's going to allow a student that has this kind of preparation innovate how nutrition care is delivered in the future and how we're going to translate that information uh, into better health for the consumer.